Hi and welcome to another video for Linux.net. The Linux on mobile blog. So this video is going to be about Qt and Plasma mobile apps running on Fosh. Now you may ask why would you want to do that? And well, you it's it's a thing that's quite common on the Linux desktop too. You are running this one desktop and when you try to install one app on that other desktop like you're running GNOME and then you want to uh, use the superior annotation features of Ocula or something which is the uh, Plasma desktop PDF reader uh, then you have to install a ton of packages and it's the same on mobile too obviously. Now still as both platforms being at Fosh or Plasma Mobile are still in the very early stages you may have an app on one platform and you won't have uh, it on the other so a good example of that for example uh, a good example of that is uh, KDE itinerary which is uh, an application that you can load uh, data about a trip via train or uh, via airplane into so it's nothing we are really going to use using uh, during this pandemic that often but it's generally really helpful to have such an itinerary and there is no no map that does that in other cases cases it may be that there is a no map like for example with GNOME Calendar. GNOME Calendar, I don't have it installed here uh, unfortunately, doesn't scale too well. Um, but then on Plasma Mobile there's Calendory and Calendory which I installed from the uh, post market OS uh, repos here and I had to install some more packages that weren't in the dependencies at first um, those are easy to figure out when you're uh, going uh, through uh, the, the package list. Uh, uh, no, those are, those are easy to figure out when you start the app from the terminal. And then you can see what's missing and then you can usually, f maybe via a quick web search, figure out, um, okay, what's going on here. So. Calendary has this events display. Uh, you can add new events to it like this. I already used it earlier today, so yeah, it's pretty pretty nice, I think, um, as a calendar app, mobile calendar app. And say I want to add any uh, something on the twentieth of August. Um, Maybe I've got a task to do. So let's just um, put a start time here first using this uh, fun virtual clock. Um, let's, set, let's say it's at 10 a.m. No, 10, 10 16, because that's a nice time. And then um, I just need. Um, Task is PinePhone video, of course. And done. So this can work relatively fine. But if you're using PostMarket OS now, or if you're on Arch, um, you will have to figure out that the, the theming. Now there is an ad waiter which is the default GNOME theme for Qt 2, but it doesn't seem to exist in PostMarket. It exists in Arch, which I'm not showing here today, uh, but um, you can then just install the Breeze theme, and um, I set that theme using uh, Qt 5 CT, which is this settings manager tool in which you can set a bunch of stuff like the font and font size, the icon theme, which is important because um, if you're using the Advaita theme, it doesn't have um, 
let's just briefly apply it and see whether that uh, will directly translate and be visible here now i think we would have to restart calendar um, well if you're using an icon theme not made for kde you will miss some icons and that will lead to stuff like this you know i have no idea what these buttons are for here and it's even worse was another um, menus like here okay that adds an event and there's a save button fortunately that's a text but yeah you should really set the, a, a theme that works generally now um, this is an example of a native installed uh, app I didn't figure out yet how to sync calendar to for example an xcloud uh, but I will look into that rather soon, I think. Um, of course, there are uh, many Flatpak apps on the KDE apps um, repository, which I've, uh, I've written down here how you can edit, but I've already published a blog post earlier this week, week on how to uh, scale apps in Fosh, um, because some really need scaling, like uh, here Newsflash or evolution because otherwise they're totally unusable and they become actually more usable through scaling which isn't generally the case for every app um, but I'm um, already going nowhere uh, so yeah this is how you would add that flat pack repo for KDE apps it contains nightly apps uh, one fun example which works here on post market I tried it earlier today on Mobian too but didn't work, didn't work is the Anglefish browser, which doesn't work um, when I install it um, from the post market OS repo, but installing it from Flatpak and uh, yeah, as you can see, it works just fine. That's my blog. Um, well, it worked on Mobian too, but HTTPS didn't work. And uh, knowing today's uh, or knowing the modern web, um, I think uh, we we all know that that's not really great. Um, let's just because I did this earlier this week in my Lunaris video. Let's just see how uh, HTML5 test accesses this browser. What's the score? So that's pretty decent, but it's. A cute web engine based so it's technically an older version of chromium and this really is uh, a better result than you would uh, get on epiphany which is based on well webkit and not blink and we can see epiphany scores 417 uh, points that's quite less uh, quite some less than anglefish and but it should be a little more uh, sh should be also less than firefox which should be in between of those posts but i will not try running that now because uh, firefox is usually the app that then finally uh, kills some processes because the system is running out of ram so we have some more apps here like ktrip which i demoed in an earlier video pure maps or um, kde it itinerary that are quite useful and that aren't available in this uh, quality on, on for the gnome desktop and therefore uh, have their um, well have their justification to be run with all the overhead and um, as you can see itinerary would import some file or paste it into here uh, so that it can load that itinerary and then uh, it would show up in your calendar uh, i guess it should show up in calendar because those apps are supposed to use the same backend anyway um now one more uh, app that is not in kde app but is uh, well built for Plasma Mobile is this Keyflora app, which is um, 
built for MiFlora devices and monitors. It helps you to monitor your plants if you're an advanced gardener, like temperature, moisture, conductivity uh, and brightness, which are all, of course, well, conductivity maybe less, but uh, the other ones are definitely uh, indicators uh, for how well your plants should grow and are growing. So that's another one that uh, is installable from FlatUp. And then there is um, this file manager, uh, which is built on Ma Maui Kit, and is also uh, Maui Kit is something that goes the top cute, and um, it's quite nice because it's the most mobile friendly file manager I've seen yet. And if I try to open this uh, screenshot I took earlier, uh, it opens an eye of Gnome, which is my uh, image viewer here on that uh, PostMarket OS Pine phone. And as you can see, it's fine. So um, cross-platform can work really well, and it's certainly something you should try. Now, yeah, thanks. All, all further information will be in the blog post I'm going to make about this. And um, that's, of course, going to be on my blog, linmod.net. And once it's live, it will be linked under this video. Uh, also, make sure to check out the two previous parts, also linked in the notes of this video. And um, they were on uh, Flatpak and scaling because... Um, you know, you have to scale some apps to work properly with GNOME and then on reading because you can use uh, RSS readers. There's a Wallaback client here, read it later. Newsflash is a great RSS reader that works with self-hosted servers and uh, hosted services. Um, and Foliate is a pretty nice ebook reader, although it's sometimes crashy, but it's really beautiful. So if it should crash less in the future, uh, that might be something to check out. And also make sure to check out my blog, blog in general. It has this resources page, which I'm intending to update uh, in the coming week. Uh, follow me on Twitter at linmobblog or on Mastodon. If that's your fancy, uh, I'm at linmob at fosterdon.org. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and have a great week. Great next week. <laughs> well, a uh, great weekend. Whatever. Have a great time. I think that is neutral and that should do it. Bye.